Hey, what's up guys? This is Dr. Quads and you may not be expecting me, especially given my last video was it's time to say goodbye. And I meant everything I said in that video wholeheartedly. I'm going to drop a video in the description of this video. It's going to maybe help you understand why I decided to pick things back up in a way. In a nutshell, that video is talking about how in a time like this, there's about a 5% of the population that is inclined to, willing, and able to speak out and not just take what's given to us. I'm specifically talking about FPV right now. There seems to be some sort of mass psychosis that's going on in FPV where everyone just looks away at the fact that YouTubers and reviewers and everyone that's supposed to be bolstering this hobby is bought and paid for. And the end result is RID. So this channel is going to take a turn. It's definitely goodbye to the old Dr. Quads. I'll never take on another review product again unless it's something I built myself because yeah, I want to promote my stuff. I spend countless hours designing and testing and perfecting these drones because I want to get you guys the best possible experience. And most importantly, if you're going to build the drone yourself, which most of the stuff is out there for free on my website, I want you to understand what its limitations are and what its strengths and benefits are. Let's not get too much into that because I think it's better to show than it is to tell. And that kind of segues us in to the Sea Dragon right here. Here we go, baby. This is the new Sea Dragon. I just printed the new shell last night because I thought, hey, why not have pink to go with the pink motors? The main thing we're testing is this right here, the DJI GoPro, Dr. Quad's little cinema camera thing. I, I don't know what to call it, guys. You gotta help me out in the comments. I I'm so bad at this. I'm just making sure that I'm in focus. I'm not, it's okay. I'm blurry, I'm sharp. Just imagine you have glasses on. Anyways, this is it. This is what we're testing today. We're gonna see how this thing performs with two changes. One, this little guy right here, this uh, DJI 03 GoPro mounted thingamajobber. That's what I'm calling it. Don't Nobody steal that from me. And then of course the RCN Power Dr. Quads Edition 2200 KV 2105.5 motors. That's a mouthful, but let's see how they fly. I did switch to the HQ Prop 3 blades because I felt like the five blades from HQ Prop was a little bit too aggressive, and we'll see if we can get a cooler flight given the fact that it's so hot out here. I don't want to smoke a motor. Hey guys, it's Dr. Quads. <laughs> I'm talking so 
close to the camera here just because I don't want to have to change a bunch of things. I got one last battery to fly, but I'm very impressed with the performance of these tri-bladed props and the flight time is pretty fantastic. I think I'm going to bump up the master multiplier and the D-term just a little bit to see if we could handle some of that prop wash that I was getting on really extreme power loops and things like that. Um, but one big problem is though, the VTX doesn't seem to be cooling itself as, as much as I would like it to. In the very beginning, I tried getting a shot, so I had the air unit on for, let's say, two minutes or something. And then when I started actually flying, it was saying, oh, core is 71. And it said near the end that it had overheated. So I landed, I let it cool down, I cut a little section on the top that's not necessary, that's kind of blocking some airflow potentially. And since then, it hasn't given me any temp warnings, but the problem is, is that when it lands, I mean, it's hot. It's really, really hot. I don't know if it's hotter than it's ever been because I never got to touch my air unit because it was inside of a shell and I had like a heat sink on top. I do think that I'm gonna release two versions. One, I'll poke some holes in the front to try to get some front airflow into that air unit and also have an exhaust section too. Hey guys, it's Dr. Quats in the future and you can see here, I put those air vent holes in the front and what I noticed is that when I forced air through this with a little uh, air gun, it caused the air to come out of these vent holes in the front and the back, or the top and the back. And that's really great, because all that hot air that's inside of there is gonna get forced out, and this thing is now ready for mass production. And two, I'm gonna design another version that's using the Raspberry Pi heat sinks on the P1 chip. It only adds like three grams, but as we've seen from my naked version, it completely cools that air unit so well, uh, even, even better if you decase it. I don't want to decase it because it is more exposed and I want as much strength as possible for crashes. So guys, let me go ahead and retune this thing just a little bit and we'll see if we've improved it. And then what's more is we'll see if we can get some smooth flight, some cinematic flight.
But yeah, if you want to print this for yourself, you can get this on my website for free. Pretty much all my designs in the future now will be using this because, hey, you save a lot of money and the flight performance is just as good. I'm really happy with how this came out. And what's more is I think that by utilizing this design, we're going to be able to design more quads now because I won't be having to buy different air units or spend the time to swap air units around. And that's no good.